In our models.py file, let's create our model for our votes table. And we'll call it votes or just vote. It's going to extend base. And then for our table name, uh, I think it just makes sense to call it votes. Then let's set up our two columns. So we're going to have a user ID. And then we're going to have a post underscore ID. So for the user underscore ID, it's going to be a column. And it's going to be of type integer. We're going to set up the foreign key. And this will be users. So it's going to reference the users table and grab the ID field. And then the second property is going to be the on delete, which is going to be set to cascade. All right, then we'll set the primary key to be true. And that's pretty much it. And then I'm just going to copy this. Paste it here. We're just going to change this to be instead of users ID, we're going to be it's going to be posts dot ID. And I don't know why I got auto formatted to a different line. Okay, okay, it looks like that's what it prefers. And so save this. And assuming there's no errors, our application should restart. And then if we go to PG admin, and then refresh, we should see a votes table. And I'm just going to go and take a look at the properties. And you can see that we've got the user ID and the post ID, we've got the primary key set. So it's a composite key. And since it's a primary key, not null is going to be set to yes. We go to constraints. We've got, you know, once again, both the primary keys. Uh, we should have two foreign keys. And then if we just take a look at one of them real quick, we should see cascade on delete. And so if we go and view and edit data, let's test this out 10, 21 again. Oh, so it should be 21 and 10 because the user ID is the first column now. 2110, let's try saving that. Good. Let's try doing 21 and 9 or 21 and 88. Should error out. Perfect. And then let's try 10 and some random number. Error. Perfect.